Hey guys, Tony with uh, Accurate Automotive Detailing. Uh, I'm here today working on a 1987 Porsche 911. Uh, doing some uh, paint restoration, uh, paint correction, uh, bringing this thing back to new. And uh, the work that we do here, we try to remove all the moldings, anything that's in our way uh, to make the uh, paint correction or uh, paint restoration uh, easiest. Uh, I'm going to be removing uh, the mirror and in order to get um, the smear out there's a couple steps that we have to get involved in a lot of people have asked me how do i do it uh, online there's really not a full tutorial video on beginning to end on how to take this mirror off so i'm doing this for you guys today and hopefully it'll make your project uh, a little bit easier to work with so this is the original mirror that we have here from the, from the 87, uh, it's not the aero, aero model that they have. So um, we're gonna get started on taking this off. So to begin with, I'm just gonna let you guys know what we're looking at. And uh, the mirror, uh, the glass itself, is held into the mirror housing uh, by a locking ring right here. As you can see, this will rotate um, to lock and unlock it and basically uh, what we're going to see here is we have these four little slots with uh, nipples on it and that is what is connected or engages the back end of the mirror and then when we lock the, the ring we lock uh, the, these pins in place and the mirror stays in there, all right? Then the other thing that we have to, to do once we get the mirror unlocked and off the, the housing, we got this connected with two power wires, and there's gonna be three uh, eight millimeter bolts that we're gonna have to remove, at which point the whole housing will come out and we'll go from there. All right, so let's start by taking the mirror off. So what I normally do is very gently kind of push tilt the mirror down and you, you will see the knob right here and this is what I'm going to be pushing on to unlock the mirror okay so I'm going to proceed and do that And you want to make sure you push that ring all the way back, but not too forceful, okay? It only goes to a certain distance. And once you achieve that, the mirror will pop out, okay? At this point, I'm going to disconnect the electrical plugs in here. Alrighty, so here we have the mirror glass itself and what I've done is I've labeled the wiring to where it came from as we go on with the project it becomes extensive I guess to a point where I kind of forget where um, I forget where these wirings go so the eight millimeter bolts or screws that you see are right in here there's three of them okay and I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And just be careful once you let go of the last screw. This is gonna fall, so you don't wanna damage the paint, scratch it. So pretty much now what we have is the mirror, mirror housing out. So the only thing left now, uh, leaving it connected to the car, is the weather pack connection, which we pull the foam apart, and you just gently pull on it until it disconnects okay so this is how you get your mirror out 
we get the mirror housing out and now we're all we left with the assembly on a car now I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how uh, to remove these pins and um, in order to, to get the wiring out to remove the uh, the assembly off the car stay tuned all right guys here we are uh, on the next step to removing the weather pack plug and if you guys try to get to understand I've uh, this is on the driver's side I've already gone ahead and uh, removed a couple of these uh, units out and what we have here is this is what the plug is and on the plug if you can come a little closer what happens is they have these little I'm calling them wings that flare out so once it gets pushed in to the uh, to the housing uh, allows it to stay in there so you're not able to pull this out so that's basically how this weather pack here works okay to make it easier uh, you do need uh, a specialty tool uh, Amazon eBay you can get one of these and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tool in here and it's gonna go over the pin and as you're pushing the pin down what's happening and it, it's closing the little winglets there okay to allow it to be pulled from the plug housing already so try to do this we'll insert our tool it's a very tight fit between the tool and the pen uh, you're gonna have to have a little degree of patience to, to get this to lined up if you over force it you'll mushroom the pen and your tool will no longer work okay so basically I got my tool in there I'm squeezing it in and I'm also pushing on the back of the wiring to make sure that this pin is all the way up so we can compress the little winglets on the pen and my tool is spring-loaded you push it and we we'll remove the pen all right so we got to do this all the way around now uh, one of the things that I decide to do at this point is on the la uh, later models um, the engineers went ahead and installed uh, the plug inside the door so we don't have to go through all of this uh, to remove the mirrors so what I normally do uh, as an upgrade I will splice the wires, extend them through the mirrors, and then bridge them with the with the plug on the other side. And from there on, what you're gonna have is the plug inside the door, like the, the later models have. And it'll make your job in the future a lot easier if you have to remove them, replace the motors, get them painted, whatever you choose to do. All right, thank you for watching my channel, and hopefully my instructions here will help you facilitate on your project. Thank you.